Hey there, John here with the Blues Guitar Institute, and this is your Tuesday Blues lesson number 139. Now be sure to watch to the end of this lesson to find out how you can grab a free three-part mini course that will help you get started building a rock-solid foundation in the blues. But today's lesson, we're going to piggyback off of lesson number 138, and today we're going to give you two D7 licks, super cool D7 licks that transition very nicely into the A7. So without further ado, let's give them a listen and then we'll come back and we'll start talking about how to get this into your playing. Here we go. This lick starts out by sliding up on the second string up to the seventh fret. And you're really going to be focusing on this little uh, mini shape here on the second string and the first string. So that's the seventh fret and then the fifth fret on the first string there. So we're sliding in and keeping this A bass going. This A bass actually works over a D chord because the A note is in a D chord. So this is a great way to kind of have this lower A string pumping out the bass as opposed to moving to the open four string which does sound a D note but to me a lot of times that just doesn't give the same sort of thud and resonance that I'm looking for from the guitar. We're looking for a really full sound here. So we're going to keep that bass pumping out with the thumb and the melody we start by sliding in to the seventh fret and I'm going to do this with my ring finger. And on the off beat there, at the end of one, I'm going to hit the fifth fret on the first string, this A note. And come back to the second string, seventh fret. Then you're going to put down on the seventh fret of the first string and then back to the A note. So we go a little B and then A right there. real clean D major sound, but then we're going to reach and grab this note here on the 8th fret, and I'm going to do that with my pinky and just push up. We're going to bend like that, and it's a slight bend. We're not bending all the way to this ninth fret note here. We're really just going to take this and push it up. This is a C note, which is the flat 7th of a D, so this gives it a nice bluesy quality here. This is the D here, so we're a step low or two frets low and we're just kind of hinting at that D note really by these quarter step blues bends and it takes some time to get it down with the pinky but I like to do that because of the next move that we're gonna do we're gonna do a couple of these bends right on the beat so the thumb is gonna pound the bass out while you're doing this bend then on the third beat you're gonna slide down from the 8th fret to the 5th and you'll do that with the pinky and that again is going to take some getting used to so this is a good lick to really build up some strength in your pinky here if you can't do it no harm in using another finger to do that slide but this is just one little place where you can really work on your pinky's ability here so we're going to slide backward and go 5 under the slide and then two on the first string. Then we'll do this little slide in to this long A and that's really just this bar. We did this a little bit in the last lesson where we've got the bar kind of at the first fret and we're going to slide in on the second string. This is kind of like an A flat we're going to slide in to the A. You just slide with that second string really leading the charge there. And then we'll roll into that high A note on the fifth fret first string. So here's what we have so far. Then 
then we're just going to do a little move back from this uh, A chord. So that's a nice A major sound to this A7 sound. Just a little brushing up happening on the top two strings there after this slide in to the A, long A. Alright, so one more time playing this lick slowly. Up to tempo. And now let's take a look at really a variation on this lick. It's going to be lick two if you have your tablature. tell that this lick definitely has a similar feel to lick number one but we did change what we're doing over the D in the first part of this we're gonna slide I'm gonna slide with my middle finger on the second string up to that seventh fret this time just because even though that's a little bit of a wide stretch it helps me to get in position a comfortable fingering position for me for this next bit so I'm gonna bend up after doing that little move, same as before, and back to the 7th fret, again same as before, we do a little push up here on the 8th fret, this C note here, and just push it slightly up in pitch and out of tune really, we're just bending, we're not targeting this note, but here again just a quarter step, a blues bend, and then back to the A note here on the first string. So far we've got. Then we roll into these um, little uh, pull-off combinations here. And that, believe it or not, it might sound simple, especially if you're used to doing it with a pig. It's just a pull-off from the C to the A, and then down here, so we've got 8th fret, 5th fret, and then 7th fret on the 2nd string. We just do two of those. But what gets a little bit tricky is that your thumb is still going to pound out the bass on the quarter B. So that takes a little bit um, to wrap your mind around because your thumb is doing a quarter boom, boom, but the fingers are doing this rhythm. Three notes inside that one beat. So let's take a listen. I'll play through real slowly, including those pull-offs. Once we get there, we're going to start our transition back down to the A and A7 territory here, around the second fret. And so we've done this. Then we do this quick little slide up from the 8th fret, that C note on the 1st string, up to the D, the 10th fret, and then back very quickly to that A note. That A has really been um, heard a lot through this lick, and we're going to kind of pull right back down to it by doing a very quick slide, and we'll choke that slide out. So you want it to sound kind of quick. And then you're playing a separate note. You're not sliding back down to the 5th fret. You're playing a separate note to get to that 5th fret. And then finally, we're going to get into our A by pulling off on the 2nd fret to the open. And then down on the 2nd fret of the 2nd string. So that pull off happened on the 1st string. And you really want to just go ahead and when you hit that second string second fret that C sharp you want to be in the A bar because then we're going to just roll right into our long A and do some basic picking in that long A like that 
So let's take a look at this lick played slowly. Remember that we're going to do pretty much the same thing in the beginning. So we're going to not really focus on this note here. That's what we did last time. We're going to go straight to that C note. The pull-offs, the slide, down to that little pull-off. And then we're in our A to A7, that long A to A7 move. One more time without the instruction. And let's do that one more time. Now playing it up to speed. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and if you want to get serious about building a foundation in core fundamentals of the blues, then I invite you to check out BGI's course, The Acoustic Blues Jumpstart. Now, the Acoustic Blues Jumpstart is a premium course, but if you go to bluesguitarinstitute.com slash start now, you can get the first three lessons in the course absolutely free. And these three lessons are super actionable and they'll give you a great jump start to getting started playing some super cool blues. That's it for today's lesson, but be sure to tune in next week when we talk about how to make your blues come alive by highlighting the chord changes with lead lines. It's going to be a fun one and I hope to see you there. Until then, Practice smart and play on.